So, today we're going to talk about what it means to play proper defense and how to play proper defense. I'll give you some tips here. Um, what is your job as a defender? Uh, your main focus as a defender is to prevent the progress of the ball from the opposing team from the offensive zone to the defensive zone. Um, positive defensive play is not solely based on taking the ball away from the opposing team, but on preventing the opposing team from advancing the ball towards your goal, uh, and therefore score. Uh, there's, you can do this by playing man-to-man -man defense and zone defense. Man-to-man -man defense focuses on each player guarding a specific player from the opposing team, and zone defense focuses on playing an area of the field. Um, we do this by playing a defensive stance, um, feet are shoulder width apart, uh, Knees bent, butt low, um, body weight distributed through the balls of your feet, and the bottom hand holding stick close, close to the holster grip to throw a check, and the top hand in a com comfortable grip as a brace. And your eyes are up so you can keep your head on a swivel. Um, your defensive approach is really important. We shorten our steps as we approach the ball carry to slow ourselves down. We square our hips and shoulders with the ball carrier, keeping your body balanced and under control. Uh, keep a stick's distance between uh, yourself and the ball carrier so you can move your hips and throw checks. You do not engage. You just defend. When they try to drive the, the, the goal, that's when you engage and dictate where they go by forcing them to an alley or behind GLE. Um, but the main thing is keeping your hips solid. Um, so here we're going to start with a ball handler, handler with the ball in their left hand. Um, and when they do this, we're going to understand that we can split the field and take away that left hand. So we're going to draw an imaginary line down the field, and we will take away um, this area of the field over here to force them to drive the other way. So once we've done that, we do this, um, and we, we, like I said, you identify that strong hand. This time he's left-handed. We're going to take away this left side of the field and force him to go the other way. So we take away that left hand, we slide up, we understand, we adjust. Um, so now that's going to force him to go to this side of the field. That's what we want. That's his offhand. So as he dodges and rolls back, we will have an easy play to force him down to this alley. This area over here, this is called the alley. There's an alley on one side and there's an alley on the other side. Um, we call it the alley because it's to the sides of the field and it's the hardest area to take a shot. Um... A lot of the times when we say force down the alley, we want to bump them there. Let's stop the play here. Uh, we want to bump them there so that they can't get a shot off. Um, you can see if they want to get to this blue area of the field because that's an easiest shot. We want them to get to this outside area or behind here so they can't take a shot. So when you hear me say defend the dangerous, we want to defend anyone driving with the ball in this area. When they're playing out here, this isn't too dangerous. They're not going to take a shot and score from there most of the time. Our goalies can usually get on it. So as he wants to work back to the middle of the field, he's going to ride his hips out and down through the area, uh, through the alley. So we do this by engaging the ball carrier. As you engage the ball carrier, you top target and follow through the ball carrier's hips waist, keeping your shoulders square to the opponent. Um, your head's up, your eyes are forward, tracking the ball carrier, and your head's gripping your stick no more than six inches apart. Um, you can see this guy in this picture right here um, is doing a great job of it. He's riding on the shoulder. He's driving through. Um, you move in a balanced and controlled manner. We're not sprinting up to the guy. Oh, I'm sorry. You move in a balanced and controlled manner. We're not sprinting up to the guy and sprinting by him and making a bad decision um, and letting him get a, a, get a goal. We're going to settle in, chop our feet, and distribute our body weight through the balls of your feet and keeping our, our butt low and comfortable center of gravity. Um, you engage your opponent at, the, at the, the, the point where you want to, and you drive through him, not just to the ball carrier. So you're centered, you're set right. You can see this guy right here. He's centered, set right. His, his head's a little bit leaning, but he's still clear and centered body gravity. This guy's centered right. His gravity's centered correctly. He's staying with his man, um, but he's keeping low, and then he starts driving. You target the area above the waist, hip area, but below the shoulder when engaging. Um, you keep your head up, constantly chopping your feet, 
and you make sure not to lean. If you lean, you're going to fall flat on your face or fall over when he dodges a certain way. Instead, stay balanced, keeping your feet squarely centered under your shoulders. All right, now let's move on to where I was before. Um, sorry about that. So now as this midi drives downhill, he's going to try to work back towards the goal as I show. And as he works, you're going to have to engage that hip and force him down out to the alley or behind GLE. His central idea is to roll back. And I've talked about this with the defenseman, but I want everyone to understand that. Um, as he goes to try to roll back, the term we're going to say is close the gate. And the reason I say that is your hips right here are, are we're going to say, a gate. And we're going to close it. We're going to sit there and we're going to close this gate. So you're going to close a gate and, and draw a, uh, a line down GLE and not get, let him get past it, which is going to force him to roll back. Um, the way we do that, we, we roll our legs and our hips across, block his uh, drive to the goal, um, that prevents the easiest path for him to get to the goal. Now, he could dip and go around, but as he does that, you'd put pressure on his shoulder and ride him into the crease, and he wouldn't be able to get uh, any goal or, or do anything that he wants. Like I said, once you're squared up to his hips, you're going to drive and chop your feet and push him back behind GLE. Uh, if we don't know what GLE, it's an imaginary line that comes from the pipes um, and, and splits the field in half. Uh, so we're going to drive hard, and like I said, goal line extended. It's the area behind the goal. They can't score. They're not that dangerous. Um, uh, we can usually let them see what they want to do before we start throwing checks, uh, but they're not scored from behind the goal. So let's reset this up. They're going to drive from the top. They're going to come in the defense, use close, take it away the strong hand. They're going to roll back right. As they drive the goal, it gives me a second to talk about it. We're going to talk about the V-hold. And this is where his stick was upfield like this. And now he's changed his stick down here and created a V hold with his body. And that almost looks like a V. Okay. So, and as we engage with the V hold, let's talk about it. It'll help you drive the guy down the alley or drive to where you want. Um, you can see a couple images here. The V hold. Um, it says he, this guy, the offensive player is rolling back. You could engage here and create a uh, block. So, v hold can be used when an opposing player is driving into your body trying to gain leverage. Uh, as an opposing player drives in your body jockeying for position, working to get around you, you create a V or a 45 degree angle with your arm and your lacrosse stick. So I want to detail this so you understand. So this is the defender's arm right here, and this is his stick. So you can see this defined V that he can use to push through his opponent, and force once he wants. So let's clear that. Um, so you create a 45-degree angle with your forearm and stick. Um, then you create a good base and establish leverage to your top side hip, throwing it around and closing the imaginary gate um, and direct his path forward. So basically what I'm saying there uh, is you're closing that gate that we talked about and driving with your V-hold. With your Stuart, let, let's stop it here. With your stick and forearm creating this V-shape, so let's show it again. It's coming from this angle, and your stick is going this way. So you got a V here, a 45-degree angle. He's locked into it. You can now chop your feet forward and drive him out, which would allow you the leverage. Um, so you've created that, that V-hold with your feet and legs planted uh, firmly underneath you. Drive forward, stay low and level and balanced. Be sure to focus your force on the front side of his shoulder. So right here, um, let me clear this so you know. Right here on his shoulder and underneath, and make sure you don't get a hold. If he keeps traveling this way and you impede his path, you will get a hold. So as soon as you, you engage his V-hold, you want to fire forward and push him off. Um, if the player, opposing player happens to roll back, um, this is something that can happen, but if he rolls back this way, you're going to simply take your stick and swing it over top and drop this hip back, and you're right back into position. I've talked to the defensive guys. We can work on it with the short sticks, but you would drop your backside hip and swing your stick over to the front side. Um, this will allow you to stay square to your opponent, minimizing worthless movements, and it will provide you space between you and the opponent for a potential check. Um, if the opposing player does not roll back and stays on his initial path, so he would stay coming this way, 
Uh, you gather your feet underneath you. You can see here, this guy's gathered his feet very well. His hips are centered. He's set. Um, and he's he squared his shoulders. And you flare your core to uncoil and thrust forward. And th this is shown right after he's thrust forward and pushed this guy off a little bit. That's why this guy's got his arm up, because you forced him off. Once you force him off, you thrust your shoulder forward um, through the opponent, not to the opponent. So you're driving him forward hard. And once you've done that, you regather your base and get ready yourself to throw a check. Um, the old very useful for the guys driving them from behind or driving down the lane, and you need to ride them to outside. So right here it's showing that we've engaged this V-hold, and now he's going to drive down the lane and drive him outside. And we force him. We've got him to GLE. Once we've got him to GLE, he's going to want to cut back, like we've said. How do we prevent that? We swing our hips across. We're getting this good, this good gate here. And then once we have the gate, we're going to drive forward or drive out. Doesn't really matter, but we're driving them behind GLE so they don't have a potential shot. Um, one thing I can talk about here is if this guy wiggles here, Again, we're going to put all of our pressure on the top shoulder and force him, top shoulder hip, and force him into the goal area um, and riding behind GLE that way. So um, that's defending 101, really. Uh, let's talk about the V-hole in live action and watch a little game film. I think this first one, one, first one's Matt Landis, come from a couple of years ago, uh, versus Lyle Thompson. You can see the V hold there, and I'll slow it down. So as he approaches, he sets up, and we pause it. He gets a good set in his base. You can see that his base is very square. His shoulders are lined up to this guy, so that he can give a good push. And you can see him; he's going to give a, a good push right here. Um, he's going to pop him, push back, and the guy rolls in. So when the guy rolls in, let's stop it here. The guy rolls into him, and he's lucky he doesn't get a hold call. But let's draw up the V hold. So there's his stick, and there's his arm. So you got the V. So once he has him in this V, he should really drive his feet forward, but he doesn't have good positioning. So what he has to do is thrust forward, and you'll see it. He gives a little push and to get himself space. He's going to push right here. Give himself space to regather and to be able to throw a check, and he can put good defense back in place. Again, this is landing against Lyle Thompson, driving from the side and top. And you can see how he gathers his feet. Let's just pause it here, and we'll work through a little bit. He has good position. Let's stop it. Look at how his feet are centered. He shut down this lane so that it gives him an advantage that he can be able to creep up and stop this, or you can slide downhill and wash him out to the alley like we just talked about. So land is set well. We let him play. And then as he drives, as the midfielder drives back, you can see that Landis engages with that hip shoulder check, and he's going to drive and push out to give himself some space. And he pushes and gets himself space, throws a check. Uh, I want to re reverse it here for you guys. Watch how he moves his hips. Give him one second. Watch how he moves his, his hips and his footwork as he works following this guy downhill. Look at his feet. Beautiful footwork as he's in, in transition and, and, and given defensive pressure. Throws a couple checks, pushes it away. So let's talk about this again. Defensive stance. His feet and shoulders... Uh, were perfectly positioned, cutting off that lane. His knees were bent, his butt was low, his body weight was distributed. Hold on, let's go back there. This is important. Um, his bottom hand was holding the stick tight to the body in the holster of the rib cage, and his top hand was in a comfortable grip with his eyes forward. So this is a midfielder playing defense, washing down the alley, and you can see how he sets up, takes away one side of the field because he knows that he wants to go right or wants to go back to the middle, Puts pressure on that shoulder and forces him down the alley. Again, you're going to see it. Pressure on the shoulder, down the alley. As the guy drives from behind, he sets up for the V-hold. The guy stops action. 
again. So now it's driving from the wing, takes away that inside of the field, works them down the alley, and we got them back behind. The whole time, you can see these guys, how they set their defensive stance. They take away a side of the field, get their feet worked in, 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 a, in, a, in a right way. So defensive approach, shortening our steps, um, slowing ourselves. We're not running up and running by the guys. Um, they square their hips. Watch this guy square his hips and, and, and run with him. So runs with him, pushes him out. They give it back up to the top. He's not running out and chasing him out. He's just letting him come to him. Throws a hard check. Rolls him back, keeps the stick up in the lane. They're going to work a dodge from the other side. Midfielder steps up, takes away the one hand, and then washes him down the alley. And they get the turnover. Oh, nope. Pop back up top. Guy on the left's got it. Midfielder's up top, top left. Now he's going to drive the lane. Look at the defense sets up right. Just washes him behind. So it's all about engaging the ball carrier like we did earlier. We're going to... Target and follow through the hips and waist, keeping your shoulders square to the opponent, heads up, eyes forward. Um, this is Tyler Durkin. He's riding the shoulder over the Lyle Thompson, washing him down the alley, and then just uses the momentum. So he sets up here, footwork's great, keeping the sticks distance. Once Lyle gets into him, he sets his base and drives forward so they can get some space again, wash him down the lane. Lyle gets a step on him, but he washes him as much as he can and gets a check back check. Again, this is Lyle Thompson versus uh, Matt Landis from up high from a few years ago. Lyle Thompson's going to drive into him, gives him a pop, keeps washing him out, washing him out, washing him out, and gets a good pass. So, again, let's see it. Landis squares his feet. I think Landis had all the defense I've ever watched, has one of the best bases. Look at this. He's squared perfectly to drive forward on this guy. Look at this. I mean, that's perfect. There's no way that Law Thompson can drive inside without with how he's positioned. So he drives forward. Landis is following. He's trying to draw him out. He understands where he is. He's not chasing him. Law gets together up some speed. And as Law gathers speed, I'm going to stop it right there. As Law gathers speed. I'm going to show you this. Look at this base here. We got a foot here, a foot here. Ready to put some leverage, and as he puts the leverage, he drives forward to gather up space. He gets his space, he keeps track of with him, pushes him again to get space, drive him towards the alley, and as he does that, he was passing, and he makes the pass go bad. Um, so that was a little long, but thank you guys for watching. Should have told you a little something. Hopefully we can get more film like the review like this in the future.